Hey guys, Dr. Patrice Carter here, the coach's coach and also your life coach mentor with Breakpoint Coaching LLC. So guys, today is a short, quick story time with the doctor. The doctor is in, keep calm. Everybody just calm down. Seriously, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I wanted to share something um, that I think is super important for you, especially in this season. And that is the power of your testimony. So yesterday, or I think yesterday, or whenever you see this video, um, the Lord opened up the door for me to add my shop to my Instagram channel. And I don't remember the shop being there before, which is random. I remember having a book now button, and then all of a sudden I had a shop. So, or the opportunity to add my products. And so that was really exciting for me because I just want to, you know, opportunities and ways to continue to you know, utilize all the income streams God has given us, but more importantly, to get the word of God out by the means and methods that he's given me and gifted me to do. And so one of those is through my book, Superb Woman, From Bad Girl to God's Girl. Now, I call her a she, um, no shade to anyone at all, but she is my baby, and I published her in 2010. So she is officially, at this point, approximately 12 years old. 12 is a very important number because 12 is a governmental number and an order of a number of order and government and when God begins to bring things into order and so with that the reason I bring that up is I shared it um, yesterday in my shop on Instagram and I added it to the shop and I shared a post sharing that the book was now available and talking about what the book was about and in sitting still and just kind of reflecting, I thought about everything I shared because one of the things I shared in terms of what the book was about is my testimony. And it came to me that there are still some people who are afraid to share their testimony, are ashamed to share their testimony, um, are being bound or muted and you know, their voice, maybe their, um, someone is controlling them and not you know, putting pressure on them to not speak out. But I want to just encourage you today that you must speak up, you must speak out because your voice needs to be heard in this season, in this hour. It is just critical and the word of God tells us that we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. And I'm gonna, I'm looking down because I have my Bible in my lap and I'm gonna read that, speak that over you. But before I do that, I wanna share my testimony. So my book, Superb Woman, from bad girl to God's girl, yes, this is me. People say that it doesn't look like me, but I promise you this is my face. This is me without glasses and short red hair. <laughs> and um, this is my second edition. I published it myself uh, through my publishing company, Breakpoint Publishing, and more about that in a different video. But I wanna share with you who I was, and that is on the back cover of my book. And it's funny because my sister, my twin sister, shout out to Garlinda Price, uh, my belly button BFF forever. Um, said, girl, when you put that book out, you just spilled all the tea. And I did, because one thing that we never want to do is run from the truth or try to pretend like, you know, we're, you know, we've arrived, we had this perfect life and like we never did any dirt because those are the things that God wants to use in our life to bring forth his glory, to bring illumination so that others know the way out, etc. And so it is my honor to be able to just shout the truth loudly and to share um, really my darkest, one of my darkest moments in my life in hopes that it will bring healing and blessings to others and it will bring glory to God. So with that, who I was, redeemed from marital abuse and adultery. So I was married previously. Um, I'm, I'm, so I'm a divorcee. I'm married now to the love of my life, but I was married previously. And within that marriage, there was abuse. There was mental abuse, emotional, uh, some physical. Thankfully, it didn't. Um, come to the point where it was really bad physically, but it was horrible mentally and emotionally. Um, I was just in anguish constantly, my life being threatened daily seemed like. But I'll share more about that in a different um, video if you want to hear more about my testimony in that regard. But with that, I was also adulterous. So when I got married um, to my ex-husband, I was a half a person. I was not in Christ. Um, I wasn't saved. I had low self-esteem low confidence, you name it, I had it. <laughs> I was just a hot mess. And I bought that to the marriage and I acted that out in the marriage. So I was adulterous. It says healed from mental anguish, depression. So I struggled mentally, I struggled emotionally. 
Um, I struggle with a lot of anxiety, a lot of spiritual warfare, which I didn't understand at the time, and STD. So the Lord afflicted me with herpes when I was single. So after my divorce, I was single for a period of five years. And during that time, the Lord kept dealing with me about holiness. That's code in culture speak for stop having sex outside of marriage. <laughs> and I would not do that. And he showed me in a vision one night that he was going to afflict me, but I didn't have the interpretation. I didn't understand, but I came to understand when it was made manifest and he allowed me to be stricken with herpes, which he healed me from. And that's not something that you get healed from. So God worked a miracle in my life when I came into a place of obedience. I was defeated and I had low self-esteem and I just did not believe that God could forgive the things that I had done, how I was living, how I had lived. And so I struggled, I felt hopeless, but who I was also was set free and delivered and coming back for you. He said he will leave the 99 to go after the one. Even I think about the parable of the coin, the lost coin in the Bible, it talks about how a person lost a coin and they, they went and tore up the house looking for it until they found it. That means because it was valuable to them. And that's a metaphor for how valuable we are to God. So that was who I was. Now, who I am now, I'm Dr. Patrice Carter, a redeemed, virtuous woman of God, certified professional life coach, board certified life coach, and life coach mentor, motivational speaker, author, and reverend of Speak to the Royal Ministries. I reside in Fayetteville, North Carolina, the center of the universe, and I'm married to the love of my life, Dawson, and I am a bonus mom to our beautiful children, Miles, Destiny, and Desiree, and a grandmom to Milo and Miles. And I empower, motivate, and minister to individuals, people, organizations, universities, and churches nationally and internationally. And I love it. So God has taken that life that I lived. He has redeemed it. He has healed it. He's healed me. And now he's given me as a gift back to the body of Christ and back to those who are lost to help them know that there is a way home and a way out. So Superb Woman from Bad Girl to God's Girl is a workbook a devotional and a journey to take you from where you are to where God has called you to be. Now, what I really ultimately wanted to share, in addition to that, I just want to give you some context, is your life is a, a book. The Bible says that we are living epistles read by men, right? And so if that is true, then people need to read your story. And they can't read what you don't write. And so I just want to encourage you to begin to either write your story tell your story get it out of you and into the world because the world needs it and don't allow fear shame regret anything to hold you back so after i published superb woman from bad girl to god's girl then god raised up a mentor who helped me to take it and develop it into a coaching program. He then called me to be a life coach. He gave my husband a vision that I was a coach two years before it was ever even made known to me and my spirit. My husband said that you're a life coach. That's how I see you. And I was like, I don't even know what that is really. That was 13 years ago. And he raised her up and she helped me to take eight chapters out of Superb Woman from Bad Girl to God's Girl and create it into an eight week coaching program. Now there are more than, more than eight chapters. But that said, I want to encourage you that your story, your testimony is also a marketplace ministry. So if you're someone who has been holding back, but you're working a nine to five and you're just hating life because you know that God has called you to do more, to be more, to have more, and you desperately want to own your own business, your very testimony may be the place that God wants to start that will then channel into a book, into a coaching program, into a speaking platform, and just give you this whole new life. Like I cannot believe the life that I have now. Meaning that I get to share my testimony. I feel um, tearful saying that. I get to share my testimony for a living. I get paid to share my testimony. I get paid to coach people using one of the most desperate, hopeless times of my life. Because God gave it back to me as a gift. He cleaned me up. He gave it back to me as a gift. And then said, now go work for me and not man and go be great and make my name famous. And that's what he wants for you. I'm, so, I'm sorry <laughs> to cry, but that's what he wants for you. And so I just feel that so deeply for someone. 
Uh, for myself, I'm grateful. These are tears of gratitude. I am immensely grateful. And I pray that I can continue, that God will never call me back into traditional work ever again because I love being self-employed. I love being God-employed. And that's what I want to prophesy over you, that you are meant to be God-employed in Jesus' name. So let me give you this scripture so that you will know that what I'm saying is true because all prophecy is to be confirmed and to be um, prayed over and prayed about but also it's rooted in scripture so test prophetic words should be rooted in scripture all right so we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony i should have looked that up before i got you guys on here with me but you know what i would love is if you guys would just give me some feedback you know let me know comment reach out to me let me know that this word resonate with you let me know how i can help you if i can help you and just, you know, where are you? <laughs> you know, are you writing your book? Are you trying to get that testimony out of your belly and into your mouth and out of your lips and into the world? And I would love to know. And so with that, I'm going to share um, the scripture in our show notes or in the notes of the video because I don't want to hold you guys up. <laughs> but... Please know that it's a true word, and I will prove it because I'll put it in the, in the notes down below. But we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. These words are sure and true. And so I want to also pray over you before we hang up. I'm just going to give it one more go. Look to my Bible. Um, Holy Spirit, I ask that you reveal it to me in Jesus' name. Revelations 12 11 won't you do it so Revelation 12 11 mind you guys that's the other thing don't try to be perfect just do you this would cause somebody to have a fit and fall in it that was bound by a spirit of perfection but I am delivered from that <laughs> so Revelation 12 11 I'm actually going to start at verse 10 I love the word of God it says, Then I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ have come. For the accuser of our brethren who accused them before our God day and night has been cast down. In verse 11, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they did not love their lives to death. And so what that means they did not love their lives to death is if you're going to be willing to walk this walk out with Jesus and live a life that glorifies and honors God, you're going to have to let your life go, meaning die to your perception of yourself, die to your reputation. You have to be like Jesus of no reputation. So for me to say on social media, the Lord afflicted me with herpes and he healed me, most people would not want to tell that. I was adulterous. Who wants to say that? Like, that is a shame. But I'm saying it to let you know that God will forgive you if you repent and you turn from your wicked ways. And so I had to turn from my wicked ways. I had to die to myself. But also it's saying there in that scripture, don't be afraid to become a martyr, to lose your life. So not only your physical life, not only your, you know, how you're living, but your physical life. Like, we know that people were put to death for Jesus, but he died for us. So with that... I want to pray over you that God release this word from your belly into the earth realm in whatever form that is. If it's coaching, if it's a book, if it's speaking, and I'm here to help. <laughs> but more importantly, the Holy Spirit is here to help. So Father, right now in Jesus' name, we come before you to shout hallelujah. Thank you. First, let me say thank you, Lord. I'm grateful much obliged daddy glory to your holy name hallelujah to the king of kings and the lord of hosts father we bless you we honor you we exalt you we magnify you we honor you we glorify you there is none other besides you you are the alpha and the omega you are the bright and morning sun you are who was he who was and is and is to come you are the same yesterday today and forever 
And Father, we ask that you would forgive us for every sin and word, thought and deed. Jesus, we thank you for your blood. Thank you for your sacrifice on Calvary. Holy Spirit, we invite you into this prayer. And I prophesy, God, that this word will go out on the four winds, the north, south, east, and west wind. Carry this word to every ear, to every heart, to every eye that is meant to receive. Let them receive with open ears, open hearts, and open eyes. Father, I prophesy in the name of Jesus that everyone who hears this word, that they will receive it as a true word from your word to them, from your lips to their ears out of Revelation chapter 12, verses 10 through 11. Father God, that they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony, and they did not love their life unto death. Father, that I prophesy out of their belly shall flow rivers of living water. I call forth books. I call forth coaching programs. I call forth life coaches. I call forth ministers. I call forth apostles. God, I call forth um, dead things to live. In the name of Jesus, I call forth speaking platforms. In the name of Jesus, I call forth podcasts. I call forth courses where they will teach others how to do the same. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bind the spirit of guilt, regret, shame, disgrace, despair, in the name of Jesus, and I command it to be loosed back to the pit of hell. Let the yokes be destroyed and broken off of their lives. Father, let their tongues be loosed by the blood of Jesus. By the angel of the army of the Lord, let them be encamped about according to Psalm 91. Father, I prophesy that no weapon formed against them shall prosper in Jesus' name according to Isaiah 54 and 17. And that you are raising them up even now for such a time as this as you did our sister and patriarch esther in chapter 4 and 14 of esther lord god let it be so now as mordecai said to her how do you know that you have not been called to the kingdom yet but for such a time as this father i call forth the prophets in the name of jesus i call forth the seers by the blood of jesus let them live let this word come alive and father as you spoke to ezekiel um when you stood him in the valley of the dry bones father you asked him son of man can these bones live and he said, Father, you know, Lord, you know, he said to, you told him to prophesy to the bones. God, I prophesy to the bones. I prophesy to the wind. He said, prophesy to the wind and let these bones live. Call forth the wind to come upon these bones. So, Father, we call forth the wind of the Holy Spirit to come and to blow over these bones, to come and to en enliven these bones again, to come, let flesh be restored, let hearts be restored, let minds be restored, let wisdom come, let the virtue come of God, the virtue and the lifeblood of God come alive again in the name of Jesus. Let everything that has died that you want it to be alive to come alive again and let everything that should die, die now forevermore in Jesus' name. Let the rain come, the latter rain and the former rain, let it come. God, I prophesy according to Joel chapter 2, Father, let everything be revived that was eaten and stolen. The things that we gave away, forgive us, Lord God, that we should have kept for ourselves let the word of God come forth. Let the glory of God come. And let these books be birthed. Let these testimonies be told. And let us do it with our head held high. With my hands lifted high. And my mouth filled with praise. With the heart of thanksgiving. I will bless thee, O Lord. I will bless thee, O Lord. I will bless thee, O Lord. With a heart of thanksgiving, I will bless thee, O Lord. God bless you guys, and I'll see you soon.